In this video, we look at creating resources in Minimash for early years pupils. First thing you may want to do is go to your Minimash area and just check within your Minimash settings that you have things set up correctly. As you can see here, I've got my reception class and I have these settings set at yes. If you don't have them set that way, perhaps it would be a good idea because it's advantageous for each pupil to have their own tray. It also helps because you're going to be creating your own tray to save the work in and you'll be able to see that really easily. We just click on save and then exit the settings area and enter Minimash. Once you're inside Minimash, you'll find all of those things that you're most familiar with. And what we're going to do is go to the Minimash icon and go to trays and create a tray. You'll see that we have trays for each individual pupil, but also there's one that I've created here already with some work, a sort of topic tray, if you like. If you want to create your own tray, just move to the Add button in the top corner, click Add, and this brings up a new tray. We'll give it a name. This one I'll call Aliens. And I've got my images here. If I click, I've got masses and masses of clip art. I'm just going to whiz down and find space inside space. I'll choose an appropriate one. That one I think I'll do. I can also change the colour if I wish to. I'm going to keep this one at purple. OK. And OK again. Now you can see I've got my aliens tray created. So, having created the tray, we now need to go and put something in it. Go to Minimash. Teacher tools. And again, you may be familiar with some of these from the purple mash itself, but this just saves you having to go out into purple mash and come back into mini mash and you can create things fairly instantaneously with your pupils as you're working with them. I'm going to just click through, let you see various different activities. The one I'm going to do is the labelling quiz. This takes me straight through to two quiz and there's a very helpful guide here taking you through how to create quizzes in general. I'm just going to go straight through and start adding mine. So I'm just going to create my question. I click on the card and then that asks me to put in whatever it is that I'm going to be labelling. I'm going to use the clip art today. Within the clip art, I'm then going to go and find myself a nice little alien, again down in my space folder, and I think we'll choose this one. Okay, and now all I have to do is set about labelling. I can drag these different labels to various different parts. There we go. any bits at all that you want to be able to label. I'll just move that down because it's pointing at his teeth. He's got his tummy. See Daisy, there we go. And that one. Leg and foot, maybe. Just make these look a little less ambiguous. And I can just start filling in. Eyes. We've got a nose. Mouth. Arm. Hand. Body. Leg. And foot. Now we're ready. Let's have a quick look at our quiz and play. You see here I just have to try and drag to the correct places. 
when I'm done, I click done and it'll tell me instantly which ones I've got right and which ones I've got wrong. I could reset it and have another go. On this occasion, what we're going to do is say, OK, yep, that's fine. But what I do need to do is to sort out that front screen. Didn't give us any information. So click on the eye. This one's called Helium Body Parts. You can change the colour of this strap if you wish to. I'll make it purple. And you can also change the font to something more suitable. Let's choose Comic Sans for now and the size, obviously, and colouring. I can also change this bit. So I could choose a file, I could paint something, I can do all sorts of different things to it, but I'm just going to put another picture in. Perhaps of my little alien. I'm not showing up particularly well on that colour. So what I'll just do is change the colour over here to something a little more suitable. There we go. As you can see down the bottom, we can change how long the pupils have got to actually do this. Let's give them five minutes. And you've got the ability to change sounds as well, if you wish it to be something different. I think the ones we've got are fairly suitable. OK. So now when we click on the play button, you can see that we do have exactly what we want. Children may not know what they're supposed to do with this. So to help us, we have the ability to add a voiceover. On here, you can just record your voice giving the instructions. Can you label the alien? Drag the words to the right arrows, pointing at the parts of the body. So now, when we click play. Can you label the alien? Drag the words to the right arrows, pointing at the parts of the body. If you want to see how everything looks as you're going through, we have this preview button which just shows you how everything is going to look and you can check that you've got everything in the correct place just by clicking and checking. If I put that in the correct place, you'll be able to see that it's working properly. So we have two correct and the rest not, obviously. The next thing that you need to do is to just click on the burger menu in the corner over here. It says click, save, choose your tray, which is aliens. We can see it's our alien quiz. It's labeled. It's dated. I just click save. I'll then just exit and exit the teacher tools. If I have a look inside the tray area now, I can see I've got my trays, I've got my activity. And if I want to see it again or open it, I can just click on the folder open here. To be able to set it for pupils so that they can find it really easily, what I could do is make this into a pin and pin it to the front page. To do that, I choose the thing that's in my tray, click pin, and then exit. I'll go back to my teacher menu and down to where it says edit pins. Now you can see I've got all of my trays, including the one that I've just created. Any others? 
they happen to be. If I want to find the ones that are in my trays, I can just select the alien one and click Add. OK. Now, when I move out of my tray area, I can see I have my aliens. I can click. I have my labeling quiz. Click on it and play. It's worth noting, though, if you do use the PIN facility for putting work on the front page for easy access for pupils, some of the activities will not allow saving. Just check when you're doing it. It could be better if you have it in the tray area instead. It's also possible to import activities and resources from Purple Mash in general. If you wanted to do that, just go to Minimash, go to Purple Mash, then locate the activity it is that you'd like to bring into your Minimash area. This one, I'm going to go to Topics and click on Aliens. And I'm going to get my pupils to finish off. A rocket picture. If I just launch the app, then go to the burger menu, click save and scroll down till I find my trays. Select the alien tray because that's where I want it to be saved and within here I'm going to call this one rocket two and save. I can now go out of this, back into my mini mash area, check in my trays and select the aliens. And now you can see I've got Rocket 2 here created by me. Pupils can access this in exactly the same way as the previous ones. To see how this looks for a pupil, we're just going to go to Minimash and just log out. I'm now going to log in as one of my pupils, Bill. And we've got these handy two digit picture passwords. Bill knows his. He just has to do penguin dog. OK. So now for Bill, he has access to all of these other activities within the Purple Mash. He can select the pin, find his rocket activity here, or he can go down to trays and find the aliens and then choose Rocket it to. It's completely up to you how you decide you're going to manage these things. I'm now logged back in as a teacher. I'm going to click on the teacher menu and go to the scheme of work. Just to draw your attention to these really useful documents, I'll click on the expressive arts, exploring and using media. And as I scroll down, I can see that we have some really useful lesson ideas and quick links straight through to the actual tools that you may be wanting to use and from which you can directly create resources to save into your trays within Minimash. If you want to revisit any other areas of how to use Minimash, you can go to Teacher Menu and the Help button, where you will find a really helpful tour.
hope that's helped to make things a little clearer on how you can make resources for your pupils and put them into really easy to find places within your mini match and that you enjoy creating them. Thank you.